Hey, Louis. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having us here today. Great job. Uh, did, so how does it feel to come back? How does it feel to, to be back in? Feels great, man. It feels like we never left. I mean, which is surprising yeah. after, after this much time. But yeah, it feels great. And how, how long ago did you find out you were, it's a done deal that you guys were actually returning because us fans, we were like, we were like biting our, <laughs> our, our nails for the official. Were you really? I, I, I don't know. It's sort of, sort of like right up to the last minute that money, the money to make the movie. There's like a whole story on the side about how the money came about to make this film. Um, it, it was there and then it disappeared and then it was there again. And then it was, they didn't have, they had half the money. Then there were like already actors in New Orleans and they lost their funding. And it was like, Oh my God. I, um, I, I, I I'm just grateful that they finally got the thing made. Um, you know, after so many years of talking about it and talking about it, there should be a third one. Um, it's, but I think it's, but I think it's really fun. I think they, it's lovely that it's a, it's a, you know, a little, um, this little trio of movies. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the difference between uh, now putting on all that makeup and stuff and then like, what's the biggest difference? Um, that I'm older. <laughs> That's the real, the really big difference is that I'm older now. Um, it still took three hours to get it on. Um, um, the robes, the robes feel heavier. Um, no, it was a, you know, I'm, I'm not quite as bouncy and flexible as I was, but, but I think this, I, I, I guess I think the, 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 the Grim Reaper's spirit, you know, his, that character that from Bogus Journey that was so, uh, he wanted so bad to be part of the band. Um, you know, he wanted to be included. He wanted to be part, you know, uh, that, that sort of gets, that came back like in a, in a rush when we did this one. Uh, he still wants to be part of the band, you know? There's a lot yeah. about him that, that didn't change. Did you know the Grim Reaper was that big of a character? Because uh, every time I'd watch the trailer with my friends, like <laughs> as, as soon as they teased you, uh, the Reaper, everybody would go crazy. Did you know he I was didn't. <laughs> such so big? I did not. I did not know that, actually. I was just... Uh, he's a big character, though. He's, uh, you know... I guess... <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I've played a lot of characters in my long and checkered career. I don't think I've ever played one that was people reacted to to the way they react to this guy. He's they, <laughs> and he's death. You know, I'm surprised. There, you know, why would he be? Why would he be popular? Why would he be? Why would people want T-shirts with him on it? Or you know, <laughs> so um, awesome. What do you think the moral of the story is in this film in particular? I think, well, if there's a, if there's a moral is that, um, that, that there's a hap there's a happy ending, you know, you have to believe you have to be excellent to each other and you have to believe that, that there's a, you know, it gets better. It's going to get better. Um, I think it's a great message for these times, especially for right now, man. It's going to, we're going to get through this. And I love, I just love the way Bill and Ted face that, you know, when they face challenges, it's like, whoa, dude, you know, they, they, they just, uh, they just hit it with such a open, uh, you know, hopeful attitude. It's we need it. We so need it right now. Yeah, uh, definitely. And I just want to thank you for the interview and everything like that. Uh, things are getting better after watching this. It brought a smile to my face. So I think it's going to oh, be to millions of fans all over the world. <laughs> thank you very much for all the energy.